Hey guys, it's Rob over at LaRabi's. Uh, as you can see, it's a different setting than most of my videos recently. I am actually out in the Joppa Town Bee Yard um, here in Maryland, so I am going to be actually conducting my treatments. So being a treatment company, I figured it's worthwhile for me to at least try and get on video, uh, us doing some more treatments on the Apame hives with our Instant Bap. Uh, you will see that I have some white spacers that are on there. Um, they're a little finicky uh, to make, that is. They are very good, they're high temp. I can't even pull them off to show you, so like, they're really on there, uh, which I really like. The, the little bit of propolis from the entrances have really, uh, really bonded them to the brass stem. Um, but nevertheless, um, I'm gonna be conducting our treatments on those apames. I think I've got something like six of them, maybe seven of them out here. Uh, to go ahead and get those treatments completed. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to step out to the back of the truck, get that turned on and heated up, and then I'm gonna jump right back in, tell you a little story about how you can find properties, um, farmland, beekeeping, that kind of thing, even in the areas that you wouldn't expect. And then uh, I'm gonna get over to treating, so stay tuned. All right, so we got my instant bap. Now remember, before I show you guys this, because there was some confusion with other videos, my unit is in Celsius. I haven't switched it over yet. All the units that we sell at Larabi's of these instant baps will be in Fahrenheit. They are set to 445. That is the correct temperature from the manufacturer, just so I don't confuse people, because I do want to switch my unit out. So anyway, slide the battery in. My power switch is off. Again, Celsius. Our other units are in Fahrenheit, so please disregard the numbers. Anyway, uh, check my voltage. I'm at 20.4 volts, that's very important. I'm going to switch my power switch on. I'm going to ensure that we have uh, an increase in temperature. At every one Celsius is about three Fahrenheit, so we're moving pretty quick. So I'm going to take and sit the instant map right there. Uh, this part is the part that gets hot, so um, rather than lay it on its side and have the side melt in the truck bed or whatever, I'd sit it like that it won't tilt or go anywhere like that again i've got gloves on so we're being safe so anyway let me step back in the truck before i start breathing that and i'll tell you a little story about how we got this wonderful place actually i guess i'll tell you now so i actually met these wonderful people here i'll turn it up a little bit uh met these wonderful people through facebook i took a um put out a message with a drew a picture of a map with a red circle on it that said uh you know anybody have farmland for lease in this area uh you know i'd like to be able to grow sunflowers for supplemental feed for bees i'd also like to be able to uh you know house honeybees here um you know that kind of thing is kind of an overflow yard experimental stuff to try and see if i can add more of a fall flow because we really don't have a fall flow in this area uh using sunflower so I did that, I made the post, it really didn't get anywhere, but I then added a few dollars of an ad for my, again, my in my radius. And I think within two days, uh, he had invited me out and basically, you know, we, we just kind of had a, have a handshake deal now where they like having bees, they let me plant, you know, a, a set amount of uh, space and, you know, there's really no fees attached you know I, I really got very lucky they told me to get the farming implements and you know they even allowed me to use their tractor so you never really know um you know what kind of deals are out there what kind of opportunities are out there you know these people have become very good friends of mine now and you know they don't they don't charge me rent i give them honey you know so there is some some benefit there but you know i always go above and beyond on like if they need help you know cutting the grass or whatever whenever it's time you know i always step up and help them so you can you can barter things with people um you know rather than just financially pay them you can help them out in other ways that you know they they may just need that help so anyway let me uh let me get my respirator on and we'll get to treating all right guys so i've got my respirator i'm ready to run so uh let me go back here. Oh, forgot my oxalic acid. I always keep it in a jar in my door because why not? Also, I have it labeled. I actually had a guy tell me that he mixed his with sugar by mistake. And 
he couldn't figure out why the oxalic acid was turning black in the bowl. So make sure you label your oxalic acid and don't switch it with your sugar. So anyway, we're at operating temp again. Celsius, you have Fahrenheit. All right, let's do this. Let's see how uh, pissy these bees are going to get with me. Let me get all situated. Again, you can sit it on its back. And it'll stay there just fine. Being allergic, it really adds a level of uh, making things interesting. You really make sure all the seams are tied up and all that. All right, let's get this going. So I've got it set at two grams. Um, that's really, on average, that's what I'll put in all these. I, I do treatment rounds fairly often, so I don't have to worry about having to really punch them hard right now. I know oxalic acid isn't that effective this time of year just because they have so much brood. Um, so we're going to give them a dose here. You'll notice that this has three, uh, three brood boxes, but... Oh, no! Hold on. Well, I failed that one. So, you don't want to hit the top of the vaporizer. You can see I made a mess of that. Alright, so we're going to plug her in there. This in there. There you go. Oh no, I don't have my bottoms. Uh, Alright. I forgot I took my observation trays out of these. So, that's safe. Anyway, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep going. Some treatment's better than no treatment, but there's always room for improvement. So we'll slide that in. Oh, that one's got the bottom. That'll be a real nice treatment. Oh yeah, they're pissed, but it's a good kind of pissed, I guess. So again, I got these spacers, it's actually working pretty well. You can see them here. They're PTFE, they're chemically inert. Uh, it's a plastic rubber compound, essentially. And uh, I believe it's, it's a pretty good solution. Excuse me. Excuse me, there you go. That one needs a bottom tray too. I gotta put some bottom trays on these. I'm so used to running them like screen bottom boards during the warmer months. But again, some treatment's better than no treatment, but how that goes. You can see some bees are really covered good. This hive I had, I had taken the bees uh, to the other yard. So I knew that. Alright. Wiggle this one in there. So you'll notice my treatment location from the last video has changed. So compared to um, the last video, I am now treating through the front entrance. Janos corrected me on that and said that I was spraying into the, the frame itself and he was very correct. I always do this with a suit and all that on because uh, A I'm allergic and B sometimes they don't take too well to uh, my gesture of trying to kill their mites. I don't know why but that's how it goes sometimes. I got a couple of them pretty irritated, but we're doing good for the colony, so I'll keep on it. As nerve-wracking as it is. I really should try to, focusing to do these in the evening, but running a business and a full-time bee business, sorry, running a full bee business and a day job, it's extremely hard to manage time sometimes. So you kind of have to 
pick and choose when you have time to do things and this is just my time to do my treatments yeah see i need the bottom board too i'll have to come back later on and do another round that's how that goes but at least they're getting something while i'm here All right. they're also pretty pissy like they need feed so i'm hoping uh jason over at bohemia bees in warwick maryland can uh give me an assist oh yeah i gotta redo this treatment but see this is the difference between a screen bottom board and a solid during treatments that's why i tell people to close them up you really need that extra bit all right, that high is pretty pissed off. All right. Ow. Hold on. I'm falling apart, guys. Glad you're here for the show. Come on, guys. Hey, guys. Um, I'm just going to do an outro here. Uh, I was too mixed up in the field to do a proper outro. Um, being allergic, as a lot of you know, I started getting a lot of really irritated bees trying to sting through my jeans out of that that last hive that I treated. And it all just kind of went south from there. I didn't get stung, I thought I did. It's I'm still getting over all the, the nervousness of it because one bee put me in the hospital last year. So uh, so yeah, so I'm, I'm going through a whole thing with that i'm trying to do a lot better with it but uh but anyway those treatments i'm gonna go back through and do them all uh i'm gonna bring bottom trays up for those apame hives because you want to as seeing vapor is good for videos but it's not good for treatments you want to be able to get your treatments completed with as much vapor trapped in that box as possible I also should do them during the evening time. So there's a couple, you know, again, evening time isn't great for videos, but you know, so there's some refinement I can do, but I wanted to at least get the point across that yes, you can use the instant vap 18 volt to treat your bees with Apame uh, that are in Apame hives. Those washers I should have available by hopefully this weekend. Today is September 15th of 22. I hope to have them up this weekend. Uh, coming uh the problem with the washers is they're, they're ptfe so they're very unique we have them custom made already but the ones that i have are a little bit too tight to go on the stem of the instant vap so i have to hold one with a pair of pliers and drill it out and it, it's it takes time to set those up and everyone gets five of them and i'll probably sell them in 10 packs just so people have spares um so yeah so so bear with me a little on that i will have those available and you treat right through the front without any issue. So if you have any questions or anything, feel free to leave it below. Uh, again, have have fun laughing at my, uh, you know, treating the air and not the beehive and such. Uh, you know, everybody kind of has those rookie mistakes and I'm not ashamed to share them with you all so we can all learn together. So anyway, on to the next one. Have a good day.